Yeah, yeah, my back Brooklyn. Now I'm down in Tribeca. Well, I'm here just to basically uh, show my support to this uh, wonderful event that uh, has been put together in this, com in this community. I uh, can't think of a better way to bring the police and the community together as, uh, as we have done here. So I'm totally uh, thrilled with the, uh, the number of volunteers that we have, the number of participants that we have, and, uh, and the community support uh, behind this event, which is, uh, which is nice. It doesn't matter how many police officers you have. Uh, if you don't have a community that supports your police, if you don't have a community that supports the mission of the police, it makes it very difficult for the police to do their job. So uh, this actually, to me, is a, a good way to kind of introduce young people to the, the work of the police so that they can begin that the, the, the development of, uh, of a relationship that hopefully will carry on beyond the basketball courts. I just want to continue to encourage our community to believe in this city. You know, we've got a great city, great citizens, great departments, you know, the men and women in the uh, in public safety are great men and women in public safety. To continue to believe in, uh, in this city and uh, help us make Brockton even a greater city than it is. Uh, we can't do it alone. We rely on the, on the citizens to help us. Uh, but it's also important for us to maintain a, a positive effort, a positive uh, outlook to make sure that Brockton continues to be the city that it was always designed to be. Well, today we're here at the 50 annual Police in the Streets basketball tournament that um, Officer Rosie Brown and Project Guard Angels created about five years ago. So this is our fifth year. Um, we have the kids. Um, it's more like a block party. Um, through a three tournament, we're trying to get it started. Earlier we had the three on three skills and drills for the younger kids, free food. They gave out over 300 backpacks filled with school supplies. Um, so it's just a great time. Like I said, it's important because the, the communication for people can really, for the children, for adults can really talk with the cops, not, not in a police, not, not in an emergency situation, but just as a, um, a casual, envi a ca casual um, environment. Well, you know, a lot of times, you know, when, when, a, when a resident or a citizen um, meets the police, or when a 911 call, it's more frantic, it's in an uh, emergency situation, so they don't have a, a chance to meet the person, the woman or the man behind the badge. Um, so with this, they have a chance to meet the human side of the police officer. It is very important that the kids get out, the community gets together, we have some fun, break bread, we all got to eat, got some good music in the background, interact with the police, the fire department was here showing off their apparatus, and just um, everyone gets together, they get to learn different things, and they can make some long-time friendships. I, like I said, Ollie and I, have been friends for quite a few decades, won't even say years, decades, and we started right over here in the East Side Projects. It shows the good in people. We all have fun, we all come together, no one has any problems, everyone can have some fun playing basketball. You meet friends, you come together, you meet new friends, you reconnect with old friends, and it's all about having a good time. You're missing out. There's, there's really nothing more you can say. It's just a good thing, something that you should try. Once you do it one time, you'll do it again. This is my fourth year doing it. It's been here five, I missed out on the first year, but the past four years I've been doing it, been having a good time, having fun with it. Definitely have to come and check it out for yourself. So next year, you have to be here. You couldn't be here this year, next year is the time to do it. Today is the fifth annual Police on the Street Citywide Basketball Tournament, which is an event that um, was started five years ago to kind of show the public the nicer side, if you want to call it the nicer side of the police. Um, just showing them that we are humans just like them and we have families just like them. And um, we just wanted to give them a good time, especially the kids. And um, it's, it's like a big old fashioned cookout and everything in this event is free from the t-shirts to the basketballs to the food, um, cotton candies, fried dough, popcorn, balloons, you name it, we have it. Um, and it's just a great time for the kids as well as the families. First of all, this is our community. I've lived here most of my life and I love my community. I was um, basically raised here since I was eight years old. And I'm just giving back, especially they gave to me when I was a young child. So I think it's everyone's responsibility to give back to their community. It makes it a better place. 
We're working on, we do have some of the offices from different places, but um, hopefully by next year, we want offices from every city and town, hopefully. We want this event to blow up. And again, it's um, the police departments, different police departments interacting with the kids. And um, I think it's very important because it just gives a child a different look to the softer side. Um, to the police and um, letting them know that we're here to help them and not, you know, anything other than that. I need more helpers um, to help. Not only do we have great people that show up to volunteer from different churches and people in our community, but we also have people that vol um, donate, like Lynch's, Walmart, Vicente Market, and we have so many people that are just so wonderful that make this event what it is. Just get a hold of me, Officer Rosie Vasquez Brown, Brockton Police Department, and you could reach me at 508-897-5131. And um, we're also working with having kids volunteer more. That's one of the things my soft spot has always been the youth kids because you know they're our future so if we work with them and mentor them they will grow up to be responsible human beings thank you thank you thank you to all our angels and everyone in the community and everyone that's helped this program and and this event happen thank you so much Hello everybody, I'm Kimberly Zuzwa and I'm the president of Psi Alpha Omega Chapter of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority. We're out here supporting the police and the students and the community today by giving out backpacks. We thoroughly understand that sometimes it's hard on parents when it comes to finances to really make sure that their kids are ready for school. So we make sure that within our programming and serving the community that we're out here giving out backpacks full of supplies for kids. And so we're also asking the community to help support us in this effort and ensuring that our kids within Brockton get a great education, that they are prepared, that if you don't mind coming out to our events, donating to our cause, we do have a foundation. As a matter of fact, on August 26th of this month, we will be hosting our annual golf tournament, which helps us to raise funds to really support the Brockton community, families in the community when it comes to education, when it comes to health, when it comes to family enrichment and economic development. So please check out our website, visit us on Facebook page at Cy Iota Omega, and just be with us in serving our community together. Community engagement is so important because there's a saying, to whom much is given, much is required. So when we're supporting the community, we're helping ourselves, we're unifying ourselves. And it takes more of a unity piece to move forward initiatives than for us to stand alone. There's more power in working together. So when we serve the community, we're actually serving ourselves. In the coming years, I would like to see more of the community involved, all of the different groups, uh, working working more with the Haitian community, working more with the Cape Verdean community, the African community, the African American community, the Latinx community. We are all one. We have such diverse and rich cultures. We need to bring them together so therefore we can move Brockton. As we are the champions, we want to prove that even more to those outside of the community. We're smart, we're vibrant, we're bright, and we need to change those stereotypes that the state of Massachusetts have about our awesome city. The best way to get involved with us in the work that we're doing is to check us out on our website, SciIotaOmega.org, and also go to our Facebook page uh, and look for Psi Iota Omega, and that's spelled P-S-I-I-O-T-A, O-M as in Mary, E-G-A and find out what we're doing and leave us a, a, an IM, uh, leave us a note or an email to learn more about us and to get involved. Yeah, Rosie, Officer Rosie Brown is doing uh, outstanding work, uh, commu communicating and advertising this event every year. And this is the fifth year we're doing it. And uh, it's very, very exciting because this is one of those opportunities we get to, as an officer, to interact with the community. And the, all the young kids you see here today playing basketball, if you that are not here today that's watching it at home, Hopefully next year we can count on you guys uh, to come and volunteer, participate. Even lo local businesses and people that want to donate, uh, contact Officer Rosie Brown to see how they can take part and make this event even bigger. Uh, every year it's growing and growing and we, can, uh, we hope and, and for it to continue to do that. Uh, in my opinion, I believe it's extremely important because this is one of those events that we, uh, as an officer, get the opportunity to interact with all the people, the kids, even adults in the community kind of introduce ourselves in a very friendly uh, way. This is the way that they can tell that we are, you know, we're humans, we live in the city also, and we want to see the city go forward and succeed.
Yeah, yeah, I'm up at Brooklyn. Now I'm down in Tribeca.